At a Wisconsin Youth Advisory Council meeting in October of last year, my state independent living coordinator did a presentation called Exciting New Legislation. <laughs> when I learned how the Fostering Connections Act would impact all youth in care after the age of 16, I was ecstatic. I remember turning to the girl next to me and excitedly saying, this is going to change my life. When the Fostering Connections to Success and Increased Adoptions legislation was passed, it made it possible for young people across the country who find permanence through guardianship to retain their eligibility for services through their independent living program, including support for higher education. This year was the first time my estimated family contribution on my FAFSA coincided with the actual financial contribution my family is able to make, zero dollars. Access to Ch Chafee funding and services make it possible for me to concentrate on my studies and not be faced with choosing to drop out of s to support myself with minimum wage jobs. Doors have opened because now I am eligible for many more potential grant and loan opportunities. My first year of college was the first time I had been allowed to focus on something bigger than merely surviving. And although I liked it, it was an adjustment. I didn't know how not to worry about my family. And although I had emotional intelligence, I lacked a strong foundation in logic-based classes such as math and science. College was the first chance I had to receive a normal education, not one interrupted by placement changes, meetings with social workers, and court dates. The college experience is one every foster youth deserves. Had I not received the additional financial support made possible by the Fostering Connections Act, it would have been very easy for me to wallow in self-pity about the educational opportunities that were not available to me. This semester is the first where I will not be taking out the maximum amount in student loans for living expenses, and when I graduate from college, I will be in a stronger position to tackle adulthood. Over this past summer, I have had the opportunity to intern as a Foster Club All-Star. I led conference, conferences aimed at youth empowerment, showing that there is life after foster care and that it can be more and better than they ever dreamed. To be able to tell foster youth that there are opportunities out there gives kids without a lot of hope something to hold on to. I've met so many of my brothers and sisters of the system who are hungry for a better future, and you are opening that door for them. In one of our workshops, Foster Club asks foster youth who plans to go to college, and they raise their hand. We always get an overwhelming response. Usually at least 90% say yes. It is hopeful to know that foster youth do indeed aspire to pursue their educational dreams. But we all know that the statistics don't reflect those dreams being reality for most foster youth. Foster care and circumstances that lead to, be, to it place obstacles in our path that don't always exist for our peers. The fact that even 3% of foster youth are going to college is a testament to foster kids' resiliency. I feel like the question that we need to be asking is not why are youth failing, but more important, why do some foster youth succeed? What resources are they using, and how can we help even more foster youth succeed? For the past two years, I have traveled to my state capital with the Youth Advisory Council to advocate for extending foster care until 21 in Wisconsin. When I spoke to legislators prior to the passing of the Fostering Connections Act, I was often told, yes, we agree, but where is the money coming from? For the first time last year, I was able to tell them that the federal government would support state legislators' decision with funding, and they were much more receptive. It has been shown through research, which was mentioned earlier, um, that youth in states where foster care goes until 21 are succeeding at much higher rates. And because of this legislation, many states are going to be better prepared to offer their youth that chance of success. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the Foster Care Independence Act which established the Chafee program and created new opportunities for youth aging out of foster care to achieve their goals and dreams. The Fostering Connections Act builds on the legacy of Chafee to expand opportunities to more foster youth and allow states to truly foster our potential as a parent would. Thank you for supporting me and my 513,000 brothers and sisters of the system. Thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you.